Halloween is in the air. Hey guys, welcome back to Morris Manor, and today we're back with another Spirit Halloween 2018 sneak peek. Now, I'm honestly kind of surprised that they released one today, being that their lineup is uh, supposedly going to be revealed in the next five days, I believe, which is actually very exciting. Um, <clears throat> but nonetheless, this one today we have the Burlap Horror Scarecrow, um, I believe that's the official name for it. And I have to say, guys, this is honestly really cool. I, I love this uh, static. This is probably one of the best statics I've seen in a while. Um, <clears throat> I loved Alien Capsule, and before that, the best one was probably See Through Cindy. Uh, since then, there haven't really been much that I've cared about, but this one is a really cool one. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a giant fan of his audio. Um, it just, eh, It's just kind of meh, if you ask me. I would have preferred something a little different, and if possible, I don't know, like, um, I guess I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm not a giant fan of the audio, but that doesn't ruin it at all, um, because he's actually very detailed, I really like the looks of it, and then he also looks almost like a butcher type of thing, which, uh, if you think about it, like, a cross between a scarecrow and a butcher, two things that really shouldn't go together, but somehow do and they've done a very nice job of that. I believe this guy retails for about $150, which is not horrible, but it's asking a little much for a static, in my opinion. As you can tell, he's of course very detailed, and honestly the best butcher kind of prop we've gotten. I guess I would call him a butcher prop and also a scarecrow prop, but he's honestly probably the best butcher I've seen uh, from any Halloween props, uh, if we're not counting the leather face. Um, because he was better, but this one is really cool, and I, I don't know, I, I like it a lot. It might be a little overpriced, but I love the idea, I love the execution, and I love the detail on it. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and watch the video one more time, even though you guys have seen it, just to, uh, see it again, and then give my final opinions on the prop. Now, like I've already said, I love the idea, I love the cross between the Butcher and the Scarecrow, and they have done a very nice job of capturing that. Honestly, this is one of my favorites so far, which is kind of strange being that it's a static and it doesn't even do anything, but if you think about it, statics are honestly going to last longer than the uh, animated ones. Plus, I love the design and look of the hands and just the head, plus the blood-splattered apron. Uh, not too much, but not too little. It looks more realistic that way. Overall, very good prop. I love this one. Uh, I can't see myself buying it unless maybe it's left at the sale and uh, it's cheap or whatever. Um, but regardless, probably one of my favorites of the year, and I really like him. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Make sure to tell me your opinions below on the Burlap Horror Scarecrow because I'd like to know what you guys think about it. Are you planning on picking it up this year? Uh, do you even like it? I'd like to know. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned on Morris Manor where I release sneak peek videos, at least my thoughts and opinions on the sneak peeks the day that Spirit releases them officially. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.